In the instructions, what it has the students do is it has them take the rubber band and you're trying to figure out if surface area affects the amount of friction. So they've instructed you to test it in two ways. The first way is by holding it this way. And you take the rubber band and the students are supposed to use the spring scale to then pull the block and then they're gonna measure the amount of force needed to move the block. They also then are asked to do the same thing but to change the surface area by using the block in a different direction. So instead of tall, they ask them to rotate it so that it's lengthwise. And then again, they do the same thing with the setup. From experience, what I've found is that the bottom of the block is actually a little coarser than the side of the block. And so when we start to look at assessing our data, the students do find a difference between the force required to move the different surface areas. And that's not what we're trying to show them with this activity. So what we do instead is instead of using the bottom with it being tall like this, we just compare this side and this side. So they see then there is a significant difference in surface area here, so it actually makes it a little bit clearer to them as well, and then we don't have that um, factor involved in our data.